welcome to the Lady of the Lion. I will be going through this because I thought it was kind of crazy. Okay. okay, so far I am enjoying the quality. The first battle was really great. I like how you alluded to a special skill. I used said special skill and I kicked ass. One problem I got though is when I killed the enemies, they just flashed and their sprite changed from sitting up to being dead. What I would do is add an animation, like a bow animation or the volley move that I used to kill most of the soldiers on that part of the screen so the player focuses on that instead of focusing on the transition that looks really ugly. So for this transition, this the screen faded to black and then faded back in. Maybe I missed a transition in the last fight, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Either way, that transition from black and then to them being on the ground was still kind of iffy. I mean, I rather them, I rather them be on the ground when I win the battle because then it makes sense. I, I I was fighting them there. I was killing them in the battle screen instead of them just disappearing off camera. It just looks a little iffy to me. So yeah, the an animation would be pretty good, or just. Or her jumping around, shooting some arrows, something of that sort, I guess. I like how you implemented the guide. I also like how you implemented the profiles. It's a pretty interesting feature. Well, it is kind of interesting how my main character and the character who's following me, if they fall, it's game over. So, hmm. It's pretty interesting. Is there going to be, like, permadeath in this game? I kind of doubt it. But, uh... It says, oh, for a second there I thought it said she could tank. If she could tank, then it would kind of defeat the purpose of her falling to battle and giving me a game over. So I'm going to assume that other characters I'll get don't have that effect. I don't know. It's pretty interesting. I, I never really played an RPG game where you don't want anyone to die ever for the sake of progressing the story. So, we'll see. The game isn't exactly that hard right now, of course. That that was the intro battle. It shouldn't be that hard. It should be more of a spectacle than anything else, and it definitely was. And to be completely and utterly redundant, I also like the scene viewer. All three of these features are well implemented and somewhat unique. I mean, I saw I saw these in other games, but uh, not exactly like this. So props on that. This feature is also pretty great. Scene viewer, viewer, extra cutscenes, blah blah blah. But uh, one thing that I pressed was the F12 button because I, I usually like pressing that button to hurry the game up if I make a mistake or I do something I don't want to do just to start over. And it actually worked. Like 80% of RPG Maker games, BX and Ace RPG Maker games, so I press the F12 button and it crashes. So I am deeply grateful that the F12 button works in this game. So yeah, that instantly makes this game amazing. For the guide, if I press the escape button, it shouldn't work. Either it shouldn't work, or it should disable the guide by itself. It shouldn't randomly open up the battle section, because I wasn't even selecting that when I pressed the escape button. So does this mean my main character has a 40% chance to survive death? Same thing with Lana. The tint change before I enter the next room. You could probably fix that by fading out the screen, and then changing the tints, and then teleporting me, and then fading it back in. I wish I could see a literal HP bar. It's it's all cool, it's all well and dandy that I can see the numbers of my character's stats, but it's easier for me to comprehend num bars instead of actual numbers, because I don't know the maximum amount of health and magic my characters have. Also, the LP is kind of confusing at first, but that's not an issue. I believe Confound is spelled wrong. There was a fade out problem in the last part of this cutscene. You'll you'll know what it is when you see it. But I must say the building that came, that we were coming up to this and this room itself, very nice. You are definitely one of the best uh, mappers there are who don't use parallax. I must say, very beautiful. But yeah, the fading out problems are a little bit uh, distracting. The last comment isn't necessary. Either to turn it into a semicolon or just periodize it, capitalize the S. Why can I run in here, but I can't run in this room? That's odd. 
Yeah, I was actually about to question that. The concept of a scythe wielding guard is actually kind of badass. Like, I would love to see like custom art of this entire palace because just the mapping alone gives me all these creative ideas. I love it. Your voice tells a lie is kind of sloppy, I would say. Maybe your voice betrays you? It, it really doesn't matter that much, but there's probably a better line you could use. You spelled traumatized wrong. Also, he's being quite blunt with that, though I, I can't really blame him with, uh, about that. I mean, it could just be his character. Knights should have apostrophe, and also Dante is still being pretty blunt about this. I mean, if he knows his information, he really should think about her feelings. I wouldn't be surprised if she puts him in advance at this point. What's going on with that light effect at the south near the door? Like, is that necessary? Also, what's that light at the corner of the screen? Why is the F cut off? Melodrama! Yeah, you don't really need that many exclamation points. I mean, you were using three, and that's too many. I would, I would limit myself to two. Even two might be too many. Can everyone teleport in this fucking world? You might want to add an extra comma with that, however. Wait, am I supposed to get a game over if Tristan dies? Okay, I think I, I think I know what happened. I think you, I think that was a bug of some sort. I was supposed to use the Guardian spell, and I never did use the Guardian spell because I was curious what his AOE damage spell would do. I, I, I remember in the last tutorial. With a character talking about using a special skill, it was highlighted, but that time when I when he popped in my party, I don't remember him talking about how he was going to use the Guardian skill, or mentioning the Guardian skill, so I decided not to use it. I wasn't expecting just to get one shot like she did in that battle. It wasn't an issue that she got one shot for me, but for storyline pur purposes, I would highlight the guardian spell and make him bring it up before battle and I guess it still stands that if one of my characters dies it's game over is it necessary that we're supposed to sit on these chairs I mean why not just uh, allow my characters to not sit on these at all I know there is a directional movements like there is an ace so that a character can't do this but that's okay I I rather not walk on these at all than be able to do this Especially if NPCs can walk around, because then they'll do that and it will look really ugly. Map glitch. My character shouldn't be able to walk around this part of the box right here. It should. There should be a thing right where my character is standing right now that's blocking my path, perspective-wise. I like how you did the sound effects when doors unlocked. Saves a lot of time for the player. Also, it kind of sounds funny when I just continue knocking on the door. It's like, I can just, I can just imagine my main character is just like knocking repeatedly on the door hundreds upon hundreds of times. It's kind of hilarious. Okay, so the Firestorm Scroll says it has a magic multiplier of 20%. That's great. I love the fact that the game tells me what the multipliers are because that shit I care about being a developer. And it gives me more information to go off of for what character to use it on. But what the fuck is magic? I, I'm going to assume it's skill. But why doesn't it say magic? If it has a magic multiplier, why don't you rename it to skill multiplier? This town is beautiful and fun to explore, but this part of the... Uh, excuse me, lake or river looks really awkward. Uh, I don't know how auto towers work in VX anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, just look at that edge. Ugh. Disgusting. I don't know how to fix that without redesigning this entire part of the town, but it doesn't look very attractive. If you could have, and I, I know the fact that VX has is 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 very 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 bad about the whole. I'm going to limit you to one single type of tiles, A, B, C, D, and E, and whatever, and that's terrible when it comes to mapping, especially for normal mapping like you do. And you're experienced with. So trying to fix this might be a bit of a problem. I wouldn't worry about it if you don't want to, and I would understand it, but yeah, it looks pretty freaking ugly. For a map this awesome. It's kinda weird how this part of the water is glowing, yet I can't grab anything. Yet it's in the it's in the character's reach. But an item over there glows the same color as that. Now I might be wrong, you might be using a different character set, but if you're not, try to be a bit more consistent about that. At least put it out the character's reach, of course. And apparently he isn't a character who if he dies, 
it's automatic game over. I would actually kind of like to see a game that works on... What game? Where, where do the graphics come from? I forgot that game. Fire Emblem. There we go. I would love to see an RPG that has Fire Emblem types of deaths where if a character dies, they literally die. That would be pretty interesting. Though I could see people save scumming that shit. Th then again, it, it, is a, it is an interesting feature if that was to ever happen in this game. Though that would be a complete bitch to write dialogue for, considering how story heavy this game is. Map glitch. Add an event that makes my character not... Add an event that fixes my character's direction. Because, yeah. And we're on the world map, hallelujah. I'm glad the antidotes are so not expensive. Because it sucks when antidotes are about the same price as a healing item. I don't know if you place that shadow right over in that cliff over there, but how the shadows work, that block of grass right over where my character is facing right now shouldn't have, wait, where my character is facing right now, that block of grass shouldn't have a shadow, especially since it's kind of going off of the cliff, so that shadow really doesn't make sense. I'm going to assume you place that yourself. Even if you didn't place it yourself, there are ways to copy and paste cliff tiles so that it won't happen, it won't look like that. Also, the auto tile kind of screwed up right here. That glitch. And uh, usually what I like to do with VX games is I just remove shadows entirely because it really doesn't... I, all it really does is make the game look a little sloppy in my opinion because of how I map, which is kind of similar to yours, only a lot more clutter. Lol. Anyways, uh... I'll look for any more map glitches like that. I'm really happy with the fact defend increases my MP. I don't really, unless the game is has emphasis on survival like the last game I played, I really hate RPGs that limit the amount of magic I got, because that means I don't use a whole lot of skills, which means the game is not as fun. So the fact that I can defend to restore my magic makes this game a whole lot of fun to survive through, because I don't have too many items. And uh, there's always a different skill that I'm using. I'm never just spamming the normal attack button in this game. But I also like how stealth works in this game. Very nice. Some inexperienced RPG Maker players might not know what Pharmacology does, which increases the effectiveness of items, of course. So if you don't tell the player that, you might want to do that somewhere. I, I You probably did, and I didn't look for it, but yeah, I might as well give you a warning. So I got a game over from rats because I couldn't run away from them. Not a problem. The, the difficulty is starting to spike a little bit and I'm enjoying it. But uh, apparently death does not matter. I guess that was a typo you forgot to take out. Because my character, when my main characters die, nothing happens. Give me all of the spirit droughts. I am all about ethers. I really enjoy the fact that this game allows you to disable animations because it really does save a lot of time on me. I don't like I don't like games that have really slow animations, especially since VXA has a way to increase the speed of them. So I'm used to a really fast animations, and when they're really slow in a VX game, I get really bored. Thankfully, this game kind of avoids that. The battles go by really fast, just the way I like them. So does this mean skill is in magic? Huh. That's so weird. Maybe if I go over here. No. Huh. Why won't the music change to the cave theme? Why is this still the world map music when I entered the second world map screen over there and came back in? I also like the fact that I can run on the world map and... Excuse me. And there are no random battles, of course. It makes finding random items not a chore. Map glitch. Why am I finding items that are weaker than the items I already got? So his weapon has a elemental attached to it, so sometimes he'll attack and it will heal the enemy, the elementals. So I'm going to assume it's fire, but I might be wrong. Why can't I tell what element this is by looking at the description? I would assume it would tell me if it was right here in this little box. Unfortunately, I can't unequip my items. Wait, so normal monsters can drop items that increase my stats permanently by three points? Are you joking me? That's like a- that's almost an incomplete upgrade. Not to mention the fact that it decreases the amount of wind damage I'll take by 5%. That is huge. 
Also, three points of magic? Okay, that's cool. Because Dante's uh, focus increases magic by five. Yeah, the cut MP in half is cool and all, but look how much a MP it costs to cast that, and it takes a turn to cast that. So what the fuck? There should be able to step on this. I don't really think he needs to say or dates. We get the idea from him just saying courtship. Dates is kind of redundant. What? Why not name these something more elegant? That question. So what is the cooldown when I switch equipment? Does the game tell me that? That would be kind of important for the game to tell me about how equipment works if you don't already have that. Because that feature is central to Tristan's character as and her skill set. This boss theme is a little bit too epic and not so bossy as much as it is like we're gonna go to war type of music. It doesn't really fit. I mean seriously, listen to this. You you would hear this at a at a final boss or a arc boss or something really epic. This is just the one of the this is just the second boss of the game, I, I believe. Not to mention how I ki kicked her ass in like three turns. Lol. Of course, that isn't the fact that the game is not difficult. The game is definitely difficult. Don't get me wrong. I was just saying. I keep all my buffs after battle. Huh. Well, this is kind of awkward. Tristan is one weird ass soldier. Why would you do that, Tristan? You're gonna get stabbed in the back. I am, you stupid bitch. This is probably a fight I'm going to lose. But still, I'm going to try to win because I have I have a save point, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I don't think I can win. No. no! And yeah, I used quite a lot of items trying to win that battle uh, until I realized that my damage attacks do like shit all. Of course, it really didn't take that long for me to figure that out. Chapter two. That was a pretty interesting ending for chapter one, I have to say. Why did the screen just fade in with none of the characters? I think I caught it on camera, actually. That was kind of awkward. Oh, so when you told me I got an extra scene, it gave me a passive skill. But why do I have the passive skill before this popped up? And why did you tell me that I have to go into the scene viewer to look at that cutscene to actually find out what this passive skill does? I I've seen this passive skill in effect, and it's actually quite nice. But I didn't know what the fuck was causing it. Oh, really? Nice blade, Darcy. I mean, you're proficient with knives. Why do you have such a huge sword on your left? Or right, excuse me. Also, not to mention this cutscene, when it popped up, the boxes popped on the screen in a really awkward way instead of fading in slowly and nicely and elegantly. What the fuck are you doing? Map glitch. Map glitch. I should be able to walk on this tile. Whoa. Yeah, you're gonna wanna fix this direction, so I can't do that. What? Contrary to popular RMM belief, Wolf isn't spelled like that. You need to add an H. W H E L P. He likes a tease? Huh, that's kinda awkward. He forgot the R and at least they trying. Huh, can't save any anywhere I want anymore. That's kinda blame for me at least. Does that mean the game was supposed to be where I could only save at specific parts? That's... I don't know. I don't really like being able to only save at specific parts, but I can understand why that's there. It's just be consistent with it. Unless you did that on purpose to make the e the first chapter easier. To which I can understand. I like how my characters have a completely different inventory compared to the other characters I had. That's nice. Where the fuck is the save point in this freaking place? What's up with this line of fog right here? That's very, very bad. Actually, considering how stealth works in this game, this sort of makes sense, but I don't really like how I can see the line over there in the border, because that doesn't really make sense there. I mean, it, it shouldn't. There, that should be complete darkness over on that side. So, I did this puzzle once by moving the block that was default centered over where my character is looking right now. There is a ball right here. I killed the two monsters, and I put the ball over here, and I put the, the ball that was right here by default over there. But for some reason, it didn't activate the orbs. The The boulders were where they were supposed to be, only flip-flopped. Yet, the door didn't open. That doesn't really make sense. I, I'm not too sure what happened there. Did it reset itself when I left the room? What? Okay. What? I'm 
I'm actually kind of lost right now. I don't know where the fuck I'm supposed to go. Okay, I'm gonna try this again, because, seriously. <sighs> Alright. That's done. But, honestly, I don't think that's actually gonna work because I didn't hear a click sound or anything. I remember hearing a click sound, but the problem is I don't know where the door is that I activated, and it resets itself, so I'm confused as to if I failed or not. Okay, get over here. Actually, I have to go around real quick. Wait. Okay, the coding in this dungeon is really weird. <sighs> you know what, I think I'm trapped. I'm gonna have to restart, which irritates the fuck out of me because I freaking killed so many monsters, but... Okay, I think I know what the problem is. This stupid boulder right here probably reset. Let us just test that out real quick, if I can be a ninja. We Go back. I had to read this part of the dungeon re uh, re removes my saves, which is stupid, but whatever. I, I was able to save in the hut in the hub until I entered this place. So yeah, my theory was correct. Yep. I'm going to assume how you forgot to fix this is you're not supposed to re-enter this room after you figure out this puzzle. That's the only way, that's the only way I could figure this out, but I don't know where the freaking lock is. I don't remember if there was a locked door or something. I know I can't go back. Once I, since the other boulder over at the other side is locked out once I enter it. But, uh, why do these boulders have to be so goddamn specific? Okay, I, th I think I know what you're talking about now. Okay. Fuck this game. <laughs> Why was it so difficult for me to figure that out? I don't know if that's just bad map design, my stupidity, or both. Probably both. I mean, seriously, what the fuck? This looks like a normal room to a certain extent. I mean, I would prob- I don't know. It would have to stand out just a little bit more. I know you told me to the south. I guess what really bugged the fuck out of me was because, like- Aren't these healing stones? Yeah, these are healing stones. Even more reason for me to fucking hate this game. I mean, oh my god. The real problem is the fact that the stupid goddamn boulders move back when I re-enter the room. That was what confused the fuck out of me. Holy shit, that made me angry. Like, off camera, I'm fighting the monsters and I'm like, DIE! DIE! As I spam my most powerful attacks on these bastards. I also did a little bit of grinding to make sure uh, Darcy is level 8. Just to catch back up to where I was before that whole bullshit happened. What? 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 Okay, so what happened was I I killed this boss and then I went over to save because fuck. It wasn't that difficult, I just wanted to heal up a little bit and I like to save as much as possible. And then it responds! Okay, well I guess I'm getting extra spares tonight. There's a character glitch with the character because she's so small. Well, it's not the fact that she's so small, it's just you uh, forgot to remove a few pixels when you resized her. You want to move her a little bit to the left, or the, the sprite over... Well, I, it's hard to explain, you just have to fix the sprite. It isn't that difficult, I know you're an artist, so yeah. I can save on the field again, thank the lord! The cutscene before this, when Darcy tells him her plan, and he's like, what? All you need is an exclamation point and a question mark. You don't need a whole bunch of them. Am I supposed to do this? Time to get stealthy. These guards started to drop a lot of money. Why would a guard have a poison bomb on him and not use it in battle? What the hell is a boulder doing in a fucking house? It's kind of weird how these guards drop a whole lot of money. Yet... I'm supposed to be stealthy for this. Like, it's kinda counterproductive, because I get so many fades by killing them. I mean, I know I don't have infinite amount of money, 
but I did I did stack up a good amount of items before I came here, so. Eighty gold and whatever they get when I when I kill them. Another eighty gold. Yeah, it's it's pretty profitable just killing them off and not worrying about stealth at the moment. So that's a thing you might want to be careful of if if this is supposed to if this is supposed to emphasize the, the game's stealth feature. Why can't I go upstairs? Then again, since there's no healing item in this entire mansion, it is kind of unprofitable to run all the way back to heal up because right now I'm actually kind of hurt. I screwed up and one of my characters died, so that's unfortunate. I guess that fixes the whole problem I have with the guards being too easy and dropping too many items. I mean, they don't drop a whole lot of items. I, I definitely need it. I'm not really complaining too much. What? 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 No! Well, this game just got a whole lot harder. Why is this guard suddenly on the same la layer as me? That would be terrible if I killed him, like, right here, because then he would trap me. And that was no good. Why is he the only guard that does that, though? Huh, it's weird. And fuck. I guess that means I'm gonna have to go in the editor. Chapter 3. I really want to know what happened to my main party. Chapter 3 introduces manliness. Hey, we're speaking of the devil. Needed, not need. Nice use of backgrounds. Where would I said that Tristan not facing her brother to talk to the princess didn't make any sense? Yeah, same thing here. It's kinda weird how Desma's face looks it looks like it's reversed compared to his sprite. I would reverse either his sprite's eye or his portrait. Why the fuck is Tristan unconscious? I didn't know I could explode a ship. Okay. I would give the player a warty before, before you know, tell me this, because some players are just gonna go straight to that boss fight and die. Also, I don't like the fact that I can't skip the cutscene because that's so fucking long, and then I get a game over and I'm like, oh well, guess I'm gonna have to do a five minute cutscene again. Screw my life. Also, that's still no excuse to not heal my character because she's been resting this entire time. I mean, she could still be dead right now. But she should definitely get healed up before that boss battle. Off camera, this guard right here stand next to this door. What I would do is put an event next to this door that's below the player so NPCs can't walk on it and get my way. Wait, so there is no crystal that can heal me? What the fuck? Okay. Thank the lord I have this. I'm just gonna keep this on camera because fuck. And also, I'm trapped. If I wasn't able to fight this guy because I didn't have enough items, I would pretty much have to revert to another save. And if I didn't have that save, I'm fucked and I would have to quit the game. So that's the thing that you want to be careful of. Put a healing crystal, give me a, a, an option to skip this stupid cutscene, and put another put a guy in the lower deck that allows that allows me to buy some items. That would be pretty nice. Also, maybe put another treasure that has a hundred or so credits. Though that might be being a little bit too kind. Something of that sort, of course. Okay, I'm gonna keep this on camera because I am a dick. And it's like the third time I had to see this bullshit. Could be a lot worse. Could be like the fourth or fifth time. Alright. Hopefully I don't lose. Actually, now that Tristan was alive, that boss battle wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Mostly because they have really low health. So, yeah. I'll take that as you will. Maybe add quotation marks on Ibidi Hand Cultus, says he's quoting her. Tropical? Really? This place is pretty hard on my frames per second. What happened to the main character's Ebony virus? I thought that affected all of her staffs. Kind of odd how we're just sitting here watching each other heal up. Or just, you know, playing patty cake, patty cake, baker's oven, I guess, I don't even know. Yeah, what I would probably do is if they run out of magic casting spells, just make them run away, or make them focus, or make them defend and restore their own magic or something. Not defend, because that would be kind of annoying. Just make them use make them use a spell called focus that increases their magic or something like that. This town is starting to lag a little bit too. 
Hopefully it isn't my computer. I'm not 100% sure. I would use an apostrophe. It's... She's talking about how she's such a good archer, even though she was using her archery quite a lot in the tropical forest and on those cultists. So that's kind of odd. Robe should have an extra beat. <laughs> Another laggy map. Is it just a rain effect? It's so weird. My character shouldn't be able to stand here. I had a million antidotes with uh, this with this party. Where the fuck did they go? Did they like get lost to the ether when I switched my party around? So that's really gay. Also, uh, I had a shield, but apparently that disappeared too. Those boxes. Holy crap. Why are the lights still on when I left the room and came back in? I pressed the switch. Huh. Okay, let's see if I can act do that again. The lights are off. I go back out here. Go back in. The lights are on. I press this. The lights are still on. Okay. Why can't I use his spells in the menu? That shouldn't happen. Yeah. Okay, so this is the ending. All right, quick quick note about the ending. It was actually kind of it was actually kind of <sighs> she was holding the idiot ball. I mean, okay, so you just got fucked up by your brother and you somehow survived that, which you don't find weird at all. I mean, come on, that is kind of odd how he wouldn't kill you. But never mind about that. Why the fuck would she go and attack him? Why would she not ask for help with that other guy? Why would she just go in there and try to kill him? I'm going to see if there's a way to defeat him. I don't really think there is, but I'll try. Because it's like, you have a whole bunch of guards that need to escape, and you're suffering from a virus. It, it just doesn't make sense that she would do that. It. I don't care if you want to duel your brother. It's like... I, I guess it's understandable for the character, but I just don't understand why she would want to do that when her guards are on the line at the moment. Oh well. <laughs> That's interesting. But whatever. Okay, so anything else I can say about this game? Kind of getting a bit tired at this point. Well, one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to win that battle off camera. Hallelujah. Uh, that fight would have been that would as annoyed if I didn't have to go through that cutscene every goddamn time. But whatever. Fourth try, I believe. I don't know. Silver sword. Awesome. I guess. Is that a character I knew? I don't remember. Okay. Well, that wasn't exactly worth it, but okay. I, I don't care. I'm just glad I defeated the bastard. Okay, so... I guess I'll sit here and talk about it a second. Well... The graphics were amazing. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Like I said, they're really great. You are very talented with use uh, with the use of tile sets not parallax mapping the gameplay was also very very nice very uh, professional I enjoyed it quite a lot very good difficulty the puzzles were a bitch I did not enjoy them to a certain extent I mean they just kind of got in the way for me I'm not a I, I will confess that I'll be a puzzle guy though, so take that as you will. But the block pushing puzzles, especially when I kind of all of this bullshit where if I leave the room, the blocks all reset. If I load a game, the box the the, the puzzle might reset. It's really really annoying. 
how I have to cope with uh, the stupidity of things resetting when I don't want them to reset. And anything else? Well, the storyline, uh, well, it, it is a little bit predictable. But I like I like I like the a few things that you did. First of all, there's the sickness that the main character has. You kind of established her to be this real badass, and I like the fact that she's doing this entire game and fighting all these really powerful people while under a an illness that will kill her in like a year or so. It's really nice. So that's awesome. I really like the main character, and I also like the potential romance between her and the princess. That would be interesting if that actually happens. But that's here nor there. Anyways, I'm going to call it, and I enjoyed this demo. I'll definitely be keeping a look on this project, of course, along with the other one, along with the other game you're working on. Okay, so yeah. I have nothing else to say other than fix those errors, the, the fog errors, where if I enter a building, the fog doesn't suddenly go away before I teleport. That that's that happens on almost every teleport teleport I get on. Every door, every fortress, whatever, it just always happens. And it's kind of noticeable and breaks the quality a little bit. But yeah, that's it. Okay, so thank you for watching. I hope this was helpful. Goodbye. Good luck.